a protein bar that has only 150 calories and a whopping 28 grams of protein. That's one ounce. Too good to be true? Maybe. I'm talking, of course, about the David Bar, whose creator is also the creator of the RX Bar. And the last time I checked, the chief science officer of the David Bar was none other than podcaster Peter Atia. So here's the controversy. When Consumer Lab tested the David Bar, they found some discrepancies, and that's putting it lightly. Only two grams of fat? Nope. Consumer Lab said it had 9.7 grams of fat. They also found it had 8 grams of saturated fat. That's much more than the 1.5 grams listed on the supplement facts label. Calories? Stated calories are 150. Consumer Lab said it actually had 229 calories. As for protein, David Barr is supposed to have 28 grams of protein. Consumer Lab said it had 23.6 grams. That's 16% less protein than is advertised. Although in fairness, Consumer Lab said that that was in the margin of error. That said, most people are going to buy this David Bar because it's stated to have 28 grams, not less. And if you set aside the fact that David Barr is using a synthetic saturated fat called EPG, it doesn't look good for the David Barr. Share this with your friends so they know this too.